Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You hear that, bro? Don't leave, man. Where you gotta go?
you cursed? No. You say no? Yeah. You say that the people of Ghana are not cursed? Give me verse 33. Verse 33. Thy sons and thy daughters. 33. 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy lovers shall have mercy. We thou knowest not it up. The Bible says. The Bible says. One way that you know who the children of Israel are, people will come into their country and steal their natural resources. Does the white man take your diamonds? Does the white man take your gold? Does he take your cocoa? Does he take your bauxite? Takes it back to Europe and makes himself rich. Takes it back to America and is rich of your diamonds, your cocoa, your bauxite. Yes, yours. That's a curse. The Bible says that's a curse. All the resources in Ghana should be yours. All of the iron, all of the things that are here in Ghana should be yours. But yet the people of Ghana, some of them don't have shoes to put to wear. All of your clothes are shipped in from America. All of your clothes you get from Europe. Why? You are the richest people on the planet Earth according to your raw textiles, according to your raw materials. All the things, the resources, the minerals that grow naturally in your land make you rich, but yet the white man benefits off of it. Read again. Verse 33. The fruits of thy land and all thy lovest shall enlash you with thou knowest not it up. And thou shall be only oppressed. What does the Bible say about the people of Ghana? And thou shall be only oppressed. You hear that, brothers and sisters? The Bible says you're going to be only oppressed. That's what's going on in Ghana right now. You're oppressed. Right. Of course. They have taken everything from you. Right. And many of your leaders are corrupt. They take from you as well. Many of your pastors, they, your pastors know that many of you are in poverty. And what do they do? They take 10% of tithes, and tithes was for the Levitical priests. It right. was never for the pastors of Ghana. Right. Show me in the Bible where it says, give a pastor in Ghana 10% of your hard-earned money. Show it to me. You'll never read it. It's not even in the New Testament. You read tithe one time in the New Testament, two times in the New Testament. Once in Matthew chapter 23, and another time in Luke chapter 18. And one time it was a parable, it wasn't even a literal time. Right. Our people are sick. Mama, they've been lying to you, Mama. They told you that you were guardian. They told you you were Ashanti. They told you all these things. But you're the children of Israel. Right. You're the children of God. Ashan was the son of Israel. Right. Ashanti, you are the children of Ashan. Right. You're the Israelites. Children of the, uh, people of the smoke. People of the smoke. Right. Look at your dark skin. You are the people of the smoke. Read it again. The fruit of thy land. You hear this, mama? Do you know that Ghana is rich in resources? Is it a sin? Yes, it's smoke. It's a sin to smoke weed. It's a sin to smoke cigarettes and tobacco. Yes. It defiles your temple. Why? You would let me ask you a question. You see these cars going up and down the road? They got a pipe in the back of it called an exhaust pipe. Would you go and put your mouth on the exhaust pipe and smoke it? No! You wouldn't do that. It's toxic gas that comes out of there. Yeah. Same thing with your body. You would not smoke cigarettes or anything to defile your temple. The children of God are here in Ghana. Right. Read it again, verse 33. Listen very close. Listen to what God says, young man. Listen, brother. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 33. Come, sis. Sis, come and learn the word of God. Don't walk away from the word. You brothers and sisters need to learn this. Come on. The, the fruit of thy land. And all thy lepers shall end nest which thou knowest not it up. Yeah. And thou shalt be only oppressed listen, listen. and crushed always. The Bible says you should be only oppressed. The people in Ghana are oppressed. You brothers and sisters walking down the street like everything is cool. You're oppressed. You just become comfortable in your oppression. You think that this is the way of life. This ain't living. Our children not being able to eat. That's not living. That's not a blessing. Us having to scrape. Crab and crawl every single day to try to get money to take care of ourselves and our children, to feed our children, to clothe our children. That's a curse. These things are supposed to be natural. Water comes naturally from the sky. Why do I have to buy it out of a bottle? You ever think about these things? The Bible says the people of Ghana would only be oppressed and crushed always. Now watch this. Read. But thou shalt be mad for thy sight of thy eyes. The Bible says you brothers and sisters are supposed to be mad that Ebony comes into your land and steals all your resources. You're supposed to be mad at this. But many of you are mad. Like this young man right here. Young man, 
Come here, come here, come here. Let me talk to you for a minute. Some of you young, some of you young men and young women, you gotta learn to respect the word of God. When you see a man teaching the word of God, you're supposed to get yourself be times unto him. Many are called but few are chosen. Yes, many are called, but people are few are chosen. But we gotta make sure that we get this message out to all our brothers and our sisters. You understand? Keep reading. That you shall be what? So that thou shall be mud for the sight of thy eyes. The Bible says you're gonna be mad from the sight of your eyes. Read. We thou shall see, which thou shalt see. You're supposed to be angry at the things that you see. Now watch this. Read verse 48. Come on. Verse 48. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies. Guess what? Do you serve your enemies in Ghana? Yes, you do. Because the clothes that you wear, guess where it comes from? Louis Vuitton, where is that made? Right. It don't, it's not made here in Ghana. They have to ship that stuff here. Many of the clothes you wear, the jewelry that you wear, it comes from the other nations. That's why the Bible says, what? Read it Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies. Did the, hey, let me ask you a question. Did the British come here and oppress our people, put them in slavery? Yes. Did the British and the Dutch come here and put us in slavery? Yes. Yes. So why aren't you mad about that? You brothers and sisters should be angry about that. The British came to your land and put our ancestors in slavery. How did we get to America? How did I get to America? Oh, they came and got our ancestors from the west coast of Africa, put us on a ship, and took us to the Americas. Right now, I'm going, I'm going crazy about this people. Right, because it's the truth. The truth of God is entering into you, brother. Oh. Watch this, read it again. Therefore, thou shalt serve the enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Bible says that when we will serve our enemies, which the Lord will send against us. Watch this. The Lord sent our enemies against us. How do you think the white man knew to come to the west coast of Africa to get you? How did he know to come to the gold coast of Ghana to pick you up? Why did he go anywhere else in the world? Why did he go to Asia? Why did he go to Arabia? Why did he go to Eastern Europe? Why in the world would he come to the west coast of Africa to get you? It's because he knew that you were the Israelites. They knew after the uh, inquisitions in Spain where you were on the island of St. Tome, on the west coast of Africa. We fled deeper down into Africa. They knew these things. So they sent the British here to get you. You understand? But guess who directed their path? God. 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 God sent them here to oppress you. Why? Because you broke his commandments. Because you're his children. And just like any father, you punish your children when they don't do what you say. But one question. Yes. Before I forgot. Yes. But let me put it in our, in our own language. Great. My brother will explain it to you. All right. David, a brand new come with the name. I'll call a pastor for you. I need to call for a pastor for you. So when David was angry, he went to the synagogue to take a Okay. Okay. Any pastor go with the name. We'll get to that, but I want to deal with who we are. I want to deal with our nationality. I got to deal with our nationality. I won't forget. Tell him I won't forget. I won't forget your question, but I got to show you who you are. Right. Brothers and sisters, you're the children of Israel according to the Bible. Really? You won't read the word Ghana in the Bible. That's not a nationality. That's what they taught us. These are the names they gave us. Watch this, read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So my brother, my brother, my brother right here in the yellow shirt, right here. Brother, my brother right here, brother. Brother, brother, come here. Get the brother right there, Hosea. Bring him here. I want him to hear this. Hey, listen real close. I want you to hear something. Listen to what God says. This is what God said about the Israelites. Listen, listen to the word of God. The word of God. Read. Verse 48. Therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in words of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, till he have destroyed thee. Now watch this. Give me the sign. Come on, come on. Somebody grab this sign. One of you brothers. Look, 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 look at this. Look. The Bible says that the children of Israel will be oppressed and have yokes of iron on their neck. Did that happen to our people in Ghana? Did this happen to your ancestors? Yes. Yes. Did this happen to your brother? Did this happen to your ancestors? Did they have chains on their neck? Right. Were they sold to the British? Look at this. This happened to us. This happened to your, your ancestors. Many of us, they took to the Americas and did the same exact thing. 
You understand that? Many of our people are eager to leave this world. Eager. It's got something to do that's so important that they'll lead the word of God. That's how you know that this is the children of Israel. That's how we know you're the people of God. Come on. I understand. You need to look at this. Why? Because it's going to remind you of what you did against God. Really? You understand that, brother? You got to be reminded of what you did against God. I'm telling you, destruction is coming to this earth. Really? And the brothers and sisters in Ghana that decide to walk past this world and not repent, they're going to feel the wrath of God. Right. Our brothers and sisters that continue to follow this right image of Jesus, you're going to feel the wrath of God. You understand that? God will forgive you if you don't repent. Really? You got to repent. How can God forgive you for something that you're still doing? How can my wife forgive me if I beat her every night? If I uh, abuse my wife every night, how can she ever truly forgive me? Because she knows she'll say, I'll say sorry, she'll forgive me, and the next night I do the same thing. God works in the same fashion. God is merciful. God will forgive you, but you must repent before he can forgive you. Do you understand? Watch this, read. Verse 48. Therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies, with the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger. So in hunger we serve our enemies. Many of your food, where do you get it from? It's not all from Ghana. Many of the snacks, I see you got Arabian, Islamic, Arabic, writing on many of your snacks, on your cookies, your chips. I see Doritos chips here. That ain't made in Ghana. Really? That stuff comes from the Americas. Right. And in test, and your thirst, your water bottles. Some of your water. I see Hennessy. They sell Hennessy here. Liquor. Wine. That's not from Ghana. That's not from the people of Ghana. That is from your oppressor. That comes from another nation. Right. And in nakedness, and in want of all this. Where did the people of Ghana, where did the women of Ghana learn to wear pants? Where did the women of Ghana learn to wear trousers? That's an abomination to God. Women should not wear pants. Men should not wear dresses. I see some of you brothers walking around with very effeminate clothing. Where do you get that from? That fashion comes from your oppressor. So, I don't think I want to be a worship with you. So, where should I be? What was it? Right. Yeah, and in nakedness, and you want the four things. Everything you want. You want language? You get it from the nation that you were amongst. amongst. You want education about the Bible? You get it from your oppressor. Who taught us that Jesus was a white man? Who taught us Jesus was white? Show me in the Bible where it says Jesus was a white man, sister. Show me. Show me in the Bible where it says Jesus Christ is white. That's not in there. You're not going to find that. You understand that, young man? Show me in the Bible, brother and sister, show me in the Bible where it says Jesus Christ is a white man. Can you show me that? You know why you can't show me that? Because it's not in the Bible, sister. Really? It's not in there. The Bible says Jesus was a black man according to the Bible. Give me Revelation 1. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Sister, 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 real quick, sister, right here. Our people stiff neck here. They, they harden their neck here. Damn. Brother, what color is Jesus according to the Bible? My man right here trying to make his money off the uh, off the phone cases. What color is Jesus Christ? Anybody know? Does anybody care to know? My brother right here in the orange shirt. What color is Jesus Christ according to the Bible? Who knows? You know, mama? What color is Jesus? Is he a white man? Is he a pony? Does he look like Brad Pitt? Great. We're blessed, chapter 1, verse 1. The word blessing of Jesus Christ. My brother, we're about to reveal the image of Jesus Christ out of the Bible. The Bible tells you what color Jesus is. Jesus is not a white man according to the scriptures. Read. The word blessing of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show us his seven things which must certainly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angels unto his servant John. So the Bible says that Jesus Christ is going to be revealed in the book of Revelation. The apostle John on the Isle of Patmos is about to reveal. Mama, mama. Right here, Mama. Do you understand English? Huh? Small, small. Okay, one question. What color is Jesus Christ? What color is Jesus Christ? You say he's a black man. You say he's black? You heard before. Have you ever seen this picture before? This picture right here? Have you ever seen that picture? I can't read it. Have you ever seen this picture? 
Mama, I see one with image, baby. I see image where I wanna. Wait. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He said this is Christ. But as they are saying, she knows that Christ is a black man now. So how how could this be Christ and that be Christ? Was that that's not where I Christ? I know the last of the school of Christ. Like I said, no. Me feel me who need feel mama. Oh my mother here I said no I'm here. So most of them, the people who claim that they are Christ, being used as actors, are now come out that they are saying that they are not Christ. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to show you in the Bible what kind of Christ is. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 1, verse 14, he said, and he says, we're white like wool. The Bible says his hair and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. Mama, as you read here, I see in two in a white sepita. Who say he make he make me new? One and two here white. Right, right. Go ahead. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And the whites of his eyes were red because he drank wine. Watch this. Verse fifteen. And his feet, and his feet, your feet. Jesus Christ's feet. They wore sandals at that time. So they, the so Apostle John is looking down at Christ's feet, right? And his feet, like unto fine birds, as if they burned in the furnace. You hear that? The Bible says Jesus Christ was so dark, it looked like he burned in fire. According to scriptures, they read in. So who is this? You know where the actors move on? Sunday, they all hear this. You say, says the actor. Yeah, he said the actors have come out to say that they are not Christ. Right, right. Right. Hold on, my check. My check. So, so, you say that these are actors. Come here, come here, brother. Go ahead and before you leave. I gotta ask you one more question. One more question. I'll be able to quickly leave. I gotta ask you one more question. So, the Bible said, so the sister said, that this is not Jesus. She said that this is an actor. Could you give me that real quick? In uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. The sister said that this is not Jesus. Do you believe that? Do you believe that's Jesus? Come on, man. I need, my, I need the men of God to step up and stop being docile and weak as hell. Show me in the Bible that this is Jesus. My brother, is this Jesus Christ? Is that Jesus? Do you know? Do you care? Many of you brothers and brothers in Ghana, you're gonna have to wake up and repent. My brother right here, my brother, get this brother's attention. Maybe he don't speak, he don't he don't want to hear the word of God. He knows better. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 34, verse 4. And Jesus us and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So Jesus said that people would deceive you. Look at that good Christian brother right there that's denying the flight. Good old Christian brother knows the word of God, but yet he's oppressed and doesn't know who he is. Read here. Verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Jesus Christ said, Take heed that no man deceive you. You've been deceived in Ghana. You've been deceived in Kumasi, in Accra. You've been deceived. You don't know the truth about the Bible. Read. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. You hear that? The Bible says, many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Mama, sister right here, you've been deceived. You think that Jesus Christ is a white man? Let me ask you that, sis. Sister right here. Sister, you believe Jesus is a white man? You don't know? You don't care? What about you? You believe Jesus is white? What about you, young man? What color is Jesus according to the Bible? Many of your brothers and sisters are gone. You're deceived. You've been tricked. And you walk right past the word of God as if there's nothing being taught. Meanwhile, all your pastors do is ask for money. Brother, brother right here, what color is Jesus according to the Bible? Look at him, acting like he don't even hear us over here. Look, making his neck stiff. You see that? Look, the one, the tall one in the blue. He acting like he don't even hear. You don't hear a teacher talking to you? You see that? He's up the deuces to God. All right, make sure you talk the deuces on Judgment Day. Good. The day that Christ returns, make sure you jump the deuces. Because that's what our brothers and sisters do here in Ghana. Many of you, even in your oppression, you still hate to hear the word of God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC.
has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.